Hi hey guys, welcome to the Vintage channel. Anthony Joshua is perhaps the most convenient opponent for the Ukrainian Alexander Usyk. On the eve of Bob Arum confirmed the date of the second fight between the world champion three versions. Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua. The most remarkable thing is that it was not confirmed by Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn or Usyk's manager Agis Klimas. However, according to Arum, the rematch will take place on July 25. It was adding here that it's Monday. Therefore, with a 99% probability, the fight will take place on July 23. The location of the battle has already been reported. Most likely, Adi Hearn has already managed to agree on a venue for the rematch. Among the options mentioned were England and Saudi Arabia. Do not rule out the option with the United States, as it is necessary to conquer the American public, while Tyson Fury is retired. The American market is very large, and we shall not forget about it. At this stage, after all the shocks, Joshua is the most convenient and understandable opponent for the Ukrainian. A prison can expire man as much as he likes with his physical form, but globally it will not change anything. Anthony is already 33 years old, he has been in boxing for more than 10 years. He is a fully formed fighter with his advantages and disadvantages. Therefore, Joshua is incapable of a radical transformation into a conditional fury. The fighting arsenal has been developing since the shield hot. And if this moment is missed, then you will not have time to catch up. In this case of Andy Ruiz, Anthony drive up and change tactics so that he had enough stamina to keep the town at Mexican at arm's length. There was no talk of technical innovations. With Usyk, this will not work. This is the main reason why he will remain a wooden fighter, whose only trump card is cannon blouse. The task of the Usyk for the camp is to gain the former fighting conditions and put his mental state in order. In this context, the second point looks more time-consuming. But Usyk is no stranger to difficulties. He is a professional athlete. The Ukrainian fighter repeatedly fought for four bouts on foreign soil and always came out of the ring victorious. Uzuzik showed that he knows how to fight under pressure, but at the end of July a praise of a different level will prevail over him. The advantage for Uzuzik is that he will have over 3 months for full training. A lot can change during this time. The Ukrainian has everything to repeat the success. He doesn't need to reinvent the wheel when he already has one worker on hand. The main thing is to control yourself and this will be enough to confirm the title world champion once again. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please, subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I am trying very hard absolutely every day, and I need your support. Thanks for subscribes. WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury said that his compatriot Anthony Joshua must first defeat WBA, IBF and WBO heavyweight champion Alexander Usyk in the rematch before demanding a fight with him. Now I am smiling. Sometimes negative situations add up to your advantage. Look, I was interested in fighting Joshua a long time ago. Then, when he had zero in the column of defeats and champion's title in his hands. Now this bodybuilder has nothing to offer me. You remember how he said that he was interested in fighting only with those who owned the champion's belt. So I am not interested in him right now, because he has nothing, Fury said. British World Heavyweight Champion, according to the WBC Tyson Fury, said that money will not force him to return to the boxing ring. In the last fight, Tyson Fury knocked out his compatriot Dylan White and received a fee about $33 million. After that, the 33-year-old athlete confirmed that his intention to end his career. Tyson Fury, who was named after the legendary American boxer Mike Tyson, noted that he is the second heavyweight boxer in history who goes undefeated. The first was the Italian-born American boxer Rocky Marciano, who ended his career in the 1915s. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.